The Americas were the last continent to be colonized, and the indigenous population that lives in the region has, for centuries, perplexed scholars around the globe. From their looks, to their locations, to the intricate buildings, drawings, and even cities they built, the early inhabitants of the Americas are a complex mystery that science is still unfolding. The earliest human skeleton ever found, dating back more than 11,000 years, is from Brazil's Santa Luzia region that, on top of the multiple evidences of life on the continent being very ancient, has forever pointed scientists in the direction of a complex origin for the humans that inhabited the region, and a discovery made recently could provide crucial evidence to help solve this age-old mystery. Scientists have come to believe that the Americas were the last continent to be inhabited by humans through the study of a complex body of archaeological and genomic evidence. This is especially true for South America, as the prevailing theory for the occupation of the American continent is the land bridge between Russia and Alaska being the connection that allowed early humans to cross into the continent. The mainstream discussion on the subject, taught in schools to this day, states that the inhabitants of the Americas moved into their new continent no earlier than 11,000 years ago and, from there, started the slow process to eventually settle the entire continent. This theory, however established it may be, is still open for discussion and interpretation in multiple fronts. Scientists still can't say for certain when these events started or the definitive routes that the early humans took to colonize the virgin continent all those millennia ago. Through the study of circumstantial evidence and the occasional skeleton or tool located in dig sites around the Americas, these scientists came to this sedimented theory on the occupation of one of the largest continents on Earth. This theory is getting challenged by new genetic evidence, however, as unexpected ancestral signals have raised new scenarios for the early migrations into different regions of the continent. Researchers in Florida Atlantic University have used evidence gathered from two ancient human individuals unearthed in two different archaeological sites in northeast Brazil, in Pedra do Turbarão and Alsobaca to uncover genetic information that could challenge the mainstream theory of the continent's population. The accepted story of the colonization of the Americas by early humans is that it happened 11,000 years ago. This narrative was already in check in 1998 when the anthropologist Tom Dillahay published an analysis of traces of human occupation at Monte Verde, a dig site in Chile, including stone tools, mastodon bones with cut marks, and hearths with traces of burned plants that were dated to 12,500 BP. BP stands for Before Present, a term archaeologists use to help with uniformization of time discussion in the field. Present refers to January 1st, 1950. That means that archaeologists believe the Americas could have started to be populated around 11,000 years before the birth of Christ. More recently, Dillahay's group reported new excavations that unearthed human-linked materials dated to between 18,000 and 15,000 BP. That timeline positioned Monte Verde as the oldest archaeological site in South America, says Lars Ferrin Schmitz, a biological anthropologist at the University of California, Santa Cruz, who was not involved in Dillahay's work. The site shows that people must have reached Southern America quite quickly after they even entered North America. While the timing is unclear of humans' first migrations out of a region known as Beringia, which spanned parts of present-day Siberia and Alaska, and into North America, most archaeologists put the date at no more than about 20,000 years ago. The study has found two significant informations. First, it has uncovered evidence that supports the theory of north-to-south migrations, yes, but it also has confirmed the existence of a migratory route from the Pacific Islands to South America pointing to the existence of individuals from Australia and the neighboring islands having made their way to the South American continent. The means through which they would have made this trip are still being guessed at. There is an entire Pacific Ocean between Australasia and the Americas, and we still don't know how these ancestral genomic signals appeared in Central and South America without leaving traces in North America. 
said Andre Luis Campello Sos Santos, PhD, first author, an archaeologist and postdoctoral fellow in FAU's Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science. The other incredible information this study has found is evidence of Neanderthals living in the South American continent. Neanderthals are an extinct population of archaic humans that ranged across Eurasia during the Lower and Middle Paleolithic. To find evidence of these prehistoric branch of humankind in South America is nothing short of unbelievable. Results of the study, published in the journal Proceedings of the Royal Society B, Biological Science, suggests that human movements closer to the Atlantic coast eventually linked ancient Uruguay and Panama in a north to south migration route more than 3,000 miles apart. This migration pattern seems to have occurred approximately a thousand years ago based on the ages of the ancient individuals located by scientists. Our study provides key genomic evidence for ancient migration events at the regional scale along South America's Atlantic coast, said Michael DiGiorgio, PhD, corresponding author who specializes in human, evolutionary, and computational genomics and is an associate professor in the Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science within FAU's College of Engineering and Computer Science. These regional events likely derived from migratory waves involving the initial indigenous peoples of South America near the Pacific coast. To further add to the existing complexity, researchers also detected greater Denisovan than Neanderthal ancestry in ancient Uruguay and Panama individuals. Denisovans are a group of extinct humans first identified from DNA sequences from the tip of the finger bone discovered around 2008. It's phenomenal that Denisovan ancestry made it all the way to South America, says John Lindo, PhD, a corresponding author of the article who specializes in ancient DNA analysis and is an assistant professor in the the Department of Anthropology at Emory University. The admixture must have occurred a long time before, perhaps 40,000 years ago. The fact that the Denisovan lineage persisted and its genetic signal made it into ancient individual from Uruguay that is only 1,500 years old suggests that it was a large admixture event between a population of humans and Denisovans. The groundbreaking research made by the scientists in Brazil has uncovered information previously not even speculated at. To find Neanderthal evidence in South America is already incredible. To go further and identify Australasian DNA in the original inhabitants of the continent is nothing short of breathtaking. The world as we know it is full of wonders to be discovered and information to be known. If you're interested in knowing more about Earth and the wonders and mysteries that it has to show, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to like this video and let us know in the comments below what are your thoughts and theories on the subject we discussed today. Stay curious and stay hungry. See you next time.